Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last week or two, we've been talking about Microsoft Copilot's modern redesign, where Microsoft is basically revamping and visually redesigning the um, Copilot AI chatbot to take on a more kind of slimmed down, sleek look and feel. And it seems now that the modern redesign is becoming more widely available because I have noticed today in my region that the Copilot app on Windows 10 and Windows 11 and also Copilot Online and in the Edge browser have all received the new look across the board on all my platforms and devices. So this is a good indication now that the new look and feel is starting to become more widely available. Now I know some of you have already received this new look um, but just a quick video just to let you know in case you're unaware or you hadn't received it yet. Now, I have posted previously, but I couldn't show you in real time, but now I can just give you a little bit of a walkthrough for kind of a real time overview. Now, although Microsoft has rolled out a kind of more slimmed down and sleek look for want of a better word, they have stripped out a couple of key features and the new Copilot redesign is missing some key features which has been met with a lot of debate and I'll leave a video I posted on that link down below and in the end screen if you'd like more information but uh, um, as mentioned it's been on a controlled rollout and alongside the new look and feel Microsoft has also added an, an interesting new feature called Copilot Daily where if you click on the listen button, it provides you with news and information, very similar to what you get as an example using the Google app or Siri where you ask the Google app on your Android phone to tell you about your day. Very similar thing that's going on here. And uh, um, it will also allow you to read the news from different sources. And you can also access the news by saying daily news, just you know, clicking on the microphone and saying, daily news and then it'll give you news from a couple of different sources so Microsoft focusing a lot with making Copilot into a kind of a news platform I feel um, with this new look and feel the modern redesign and then over and above that just to go through a couple of the features so um, yeah we've got our history so you have your history here and if you have a chat um, you can just come back and click on the Copilot icon, which will bring you back to the main interface. Yeah, if you click on the little add button, you can add an image or a screenshot and ask Copilot to tell you about that. Yeah, you've got your microphone where you can talk to Copilot. And yeah, in the top right, if you sign in, you've got your profile and you've got four new voices. You've got Wave, Grove, Canyon and Meadow. And then over and above here, you've got different languages you can choose from. You can change the theme from day, obviously, which is light to night, which is the dark mode. And yeah, that's about it. And I must be honest, I like the modern redesign. Uh, uh, to me, it appeals to me. Maybe it's got a bit of a Chrome OS kind of material U vibe going on because I am tied into the Google ecosystem when it comes to different apps and services but I do feel it is missing a couple of the key features that were previously available and this is now the third visual revamp that Microsoft has given Copilot since its original release so it's going to be interesting to see where this all lands up but tell me what you think do you like the new look and feel and tell me what you think down below in the comments. I'm always open to constructive comments on the channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.